Hi, I'm Pranav, a developer advocate here at Thales. Today, I will show you how to deploy CypherTrust Manager and how it will speed up application development times in your organizations by taking the burden of data security off your developer's shoulders. Deploying CypherTrust Manager is very easy. It just requires three simple steps. Uh, first being cloning the repository and then using the Terraform configuration files in the repository to deploy to your favorite cloud provider. And finally, setting up the CypherTrust Manager instance. So let's head over to the GitHub repository that contains the uh, Terraform files. In the repository, you'll notice there are two folders for Azure and GCP. We're currently only supported on these two platforms. However, we're bringing in AWS support very, very shortly. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be deploying it on Azure. So I need a couple of prerequisite installations, which are Git, the Terraform CLI, and the Azure CLI. So first, I'm going to open my terminal and clone the repository. Once I've cloned it, I'm going to go in to the Terraform directory and then the Azure directory since I'm deploying it on Azure. Now, before we want to start working on the Terraform files, we need to log into the Azure CLI. All I need to type in is az login. That should log me into the Azure CLI. Once that's done, I can come back here and just copy the initialization command which should initialize all the Terraform modules and dependencies required for this installation. Once that's done, all I need to do is just paste in the Terraform apply command. And in just about a minute or so, the CypherTrust manager should be deployed to Azure. Terraform is going to show me all of the resources it's going to deploy. And I can look through this, or I can just type in yes. And all it's basically doing is creating a virtual machine and uh, its own virtual private network and, uh, and deploying CypherTrust Manager in there. Now that Terraform has deployed our resources on Azure, it gives us a bunch of outputs. First being the public IP address of the virtual machine. Second, the resource group it deployed it in. And finally, the SSH public key, uh, which is the key used to set up the CypherTrust Manager instance. All I need to do is go to my browser, type in HTTPS, colon, and then paste this in. And then it shows me a, a privacy warning. The reason is because we haven't generated an SSL certificate for our IP address, but you don't need to worry about this. We'll generate it later. Just click advance and then continue. And then it'll ask me to paste in my SSH public key. Once I paste in my SSH public key, I hit add. Now it'll take you to a login page. And over here, you need to put in the default credentials of CypherTrust Manager, which is admin for username and admin for password. Hit login. And now it'll ask you to change it to something more secret. And so for the current password, I'm going to put admin. And for the, uh, the, other, the new password, I'm going to put uh, a super secret password. Then hit change password. Now it's going to ask me to log in. And I just need to put the same password that I just changed it to in there. And now you should see the CypherTrust Manager web console, which shows you all the features CypherTrust Manager has to offer. CypherTrust Manager Community Edition is free to use and deploy and comes with two connectors, the Data Protection Gateway and Transparent Encryption for Kubernetes to protect your data at rest as well as in transit. It's free. What are you waiting for? Go and deploy it now.